was getting too pinched. They wanted to have comfort for Odo, so they have to blind. And when you're on red side and you're blinding your your, your top laner there in 4-5, that really does put you at a disadvantage. But we'll see if they can play their way out of this hole, because I do think they've, they've drafted themselves into a little bit of a lane continue to apply pressure, but pre credit to Comp. It will stay even and farm for now. They have we'll their eyes on around. King in here. Gingen. That's big. Okay, he he's used. In. Yeah, he already used his hook shot. Oduwamne still trying to get away. Kingen, I don't think there's a whole lot of ways out of this one unless you pull off something wild. Not happening. First blood over the road. And that's a big blood. Today. Here, it's more of just a defensive option, making sure Oduwamne can get this wave crashed in safely. Kingen jumps in after him there. Finds some decent damage. Kingen flashing back out before Malrang is able to find a good kick angle, but he flashes in and gets it anyway. Kingen just keeps going. Going in when Malrang is lying in wait, and that's gonna be another kill over to Rogue. Meanwhile, bottom side, the Herald is dropped with only two plates remaining. So first turret goes over to DRA. Wait for the mythic, so uh, Malrang really has been the difference maker in this one. And talking about mythics, when that turret was taken bottom, it was definitely hitting the money. Kingen's in trouble. They just pop him, they drop him. It's Odawam, they grab the kill. But now, what else is gonna happen? The oh! They strike right back, they get two. We'll see if they continue now. Larson gonna be pushed back here. DRX was in position to go for this nice sidestep from Larson, though. Will oh, get it or will it? to be taken away. Q timing is just a little bit slow there. Barrel underneath the turret by himself huh. immediately They're clears all the wave. Rogue wants to move up, but I don't know how well that's gonna work. Trimby is burning, 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 burned. Larson's ready to follow it back up. Zeka. So it's a one for one trade. Zekka finds Larson here in the river, but it's pretty easy for LeBlanc to be able to get away. Malrang safeguarding right back over the wall and so kicking. Quite happy to give up Trimby in that exchange, but Zekka wants more. Oh, he's gonna find it, no! Not quite, and comp. Barely gets away. Yeah, with this late recall that then got stopped from comp, Defs would take so many plates if you didn't go up to answer. So Larson covers, but it means they're gonna fall behind across the map. Oh Pulse. man, Deft going in there trying to use the ace in the hole plus Gale Force execution combo to maybe get a cheeky kill onto Larson, but it will not work. Meanwhile, back in mid, P.O. Shik said, hey man, I heard you don't have a flash. And Zekka oh. gets a killing. Down this tier one turret, grabbed themselves a second turret for the game. Looks like Rogue's not gonna have a lot to say about it as the minions can do enough damage to take Side. it. Uh, and look to really kind of exploit that advantage that him and Mel you know, were able to build. Oh boy, Oduamne getting stuck in the Hextech ultimatum. Zekka's showing up with a stolen LeBlanc ultimate. Odo throwing out the Meganar, looking to take one oh. with him, buddy. All the difference is Zekka on that TP flank, and now tier two mid has been cracked. The Herald's gonna get a charge. First Drake of the game go down. It's DRX looking to take. It's hard not to feel like it's just a mid diff right now when you compare the amount that Zekka his playmaking kit ready to go with the Zonies and Everfrost. This level we've been seeing from Koshik as well as he continues to attack these side lanes, constantly looking for picks. Larson though with the double chains. This is killable here. Kingen flash, hook shot away. Larson cannot quite chase it down. Kingen is getting focused and beat up this game. That's sort of a bit of a silver lining here for Rogue. Going up against what DRX has built. Oduamne dead for 25 seconds. And the top lane tier one falls. DRX continue. Yoshi is just getting the better of Maorang. And DRX are just taking objective after objective. DRX looking for that tier two here in bottom. Larson and Trimby, they don't really have a whole lot to say about so it. So well, pressure through bot with the Caitlyn Lux. The only kind of hiccup has been top lane. Pioshik in trouble now. Pioshik may have been caught, oh. but instead, it's the absolute art. Caitlyn, though, pushing towards IE, which is very, very scary. And we'll see if DRX can find a pick here. What a while they on the front, soaking up the bullets. Death firing them off. Gale Force in, net back out. Headshot goes through. Ace in the hole blocks by though. Comp, but Oduwamne now can't fight. That's your frontliner, that's your team fighter, that's your engage, and he's got to go back and heal. So DRX off of some aggressive shooting there from Death. They're going to get their first TV inhibitor. Blank. Rogue's going to try to find it here. Odo almost has Meganar. They're going. They're ready to look for it, but Malrang's the one who's been found. DRX shut that down. It's just clean from DRX. They don't even go for the 5v5. They're constantly looking for picks, and Rogue is getting Giving it to them. DRX are so good at finding these windows of opportunity and have found it. Oh, there's the Meganar ulti coming out from Zekka as Larson stuck in the Hextech ultimatum and P.O. shit kills him next.
next. Oruamne tries to get back with the flashback over the wall, but DRX. Finish. They have not given Rogue a single window, and it feels like that they have found the formula to shut this team. Free up the TP play. Rogue, at the very least, will steal away a dragon, and this should be a bounty, so they do get a bit of gold, but it is more than 8,000 in the lead. Now pick. Larson, nice, oh. nice, nice. They pop the AD carry. They slow the war machine, but now Larson's got to be careful. It's Zekka went to go after him. Trying to get the E2, not going to find it. Kingan goes in, and a nice kick to take him down. But now Trimby's got to try to get away. Second E2 from Zekka, not going to find the target. Kingan still doing some DPS here to the front line. Zekka goes in, and that time he gets his man. Piyoshik still in hot pursuit, and Kingan has the vengeance to exact. Rogue are ace. The game is over. The tie is broken. And DRX win the group. Zekka goes off 9-0-3 on the Silas. And DRX makes sure.